I think that's your comments coming through, Amy. <laughs> About your dress, of course. Hey. I do have clothes on, people. Just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope it's live streaming. I'm sure Sarah would be calling me if it's not. So welcome to the virtual hospitality um, themed game show for good. A few of us got together a few weeks ago and we wanted to send this year out in true hospitality fashion and leave everyone with a great experience. All of those of you that were watching will definitely be leaving with a smile and the contestants well, they'll be leaving in need of a good shower, and I dare say we'll never forget this experience. Um, this is all to raise money for Hospitality Action, who help and support a lot of hospitality professionals, um, from mental illness to financial support. So if you can donate to this great cause, you'll find the link to our Just Giving page in the comments below. Now onto the rules of the game show. We have four amazing teams. There will be three rounds, each team will be asked one question per round. If they answer the question correctly, they will be able to nominate a team to face plant in the flower. If they get one incorrect, they will need to face plant themselves. And each time they get one incorrect, they will also need to add a sauce of their choice. Um, I'm a bit dubious about Jamie's choice of chili sauce, but there we go. So on to the contestants. Um, please remember, no Googling the answers, because otherwise we won't get a white Christmas. And let's go over to each of the teams and get to know them a little bit better while they're still recognizable. Um, so Chris and Trish, if you want to introduce yourselves, that would be great. So I'm Chris Alexander, the CEO of Guest Review, and um, I'm very excited to support this cause. <laughs> And I'm Trish. I take care of the support department at Guest Review and I'm um, very, very excited for this cause and dumping my face in flour. <laughs> <laughs> then we have LV and Daniel, fantastic hoteliers um, who we're really excited to have take part. Hi, I'm Daniel from the Mullion Cove Hotel then in Cornwall. Uh, it's a great cause, hospitality action is such good work, um, which we've, you know, our staff have used in the past, so really here to support uh, such a great company and uh, yeah good luck everybody hi i'm lv i'm independent hotel hospitality consultant currently working on a very very exciting project in london so watch this space and i'm super excited to support this amazing course and help our friends and colleagues in this amazing small brilliant industry of ours then we have gareth and jamie jamie actually took part um in the virtual challenge six months ago so he really is a glutton for punishment I'm probably wondering why he's still my friend at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how you talk me into these things, Amy, to be honest, um, but it's, <laughs> it's all for a great cause. So, no, I, I'm Jamie, I'm head of marketing at Foresight, and as everyone said, this is it's a, it's a great cause, and Hospitality Action is such an amazing um, charity, and it's, yeah, it's a privilege to be able to take part, hopefully we'll raise some money. And then we have Gareth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm Gareth from Foresight. I'm the Client Services Manager. Um, I was roped into this at the last minute, but I'm delighted to be involved for such a great cause. And you know, if we can raise some money for um, for this, then absolutely, let's let let's get a white face. And and then we go over to Paula from Our Suite and Sonia, who's um, the guest review product manager, who have teamed up together at really short notice. And it's good to have a girls team and know they're happy to get down and dirty with the boys. <laughs> yeah, it's girl power here. Well, my name's Paula. I work at Ice Suite, as Amy said, in international content marketing. So apparently, besides creating content and also provide entertainment to <laughs> hospitality people. And I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, Amy, for the invitation. And it's a good cause. So I'm terrified, but very excited. <laughs> awesome. So shall we get on with it then, guys? Um, I think let's do the first question. And as Daniel's, Daniel and LV at the top, we'll start with them. So in what year did Fawlty Towers first air? Ooh. Daniel, do you know this one? I've got a guess. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's such a classic, isn't it? <laughs> um, 81? Oof. I want to say 84. Should we go to the middle? 80 to 82? Yeah, deal. 1982. 
Oh. <laughs> What's the answer? 1975. Oh. Whoa. Right. I just, I just okay. want to say, Kansas, can you see it live streaming on Facebook? My internet's a bit catchy at the moment. I can check quickly. Okay, so on to the second question. <laughs> oh no, you've got a face on. <laughs> Daniel, three, two, one. Oh. Woo. Well done. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Anything for charity. <laughs> So let's go on to Gareth and Jamie. <laughs> in what movie, in the movie Bride Wars, at which New York hotel um, did the main characters always want to get married? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me my wide-eyed stare that I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> um, uh, Famous New York hotels. We don't work well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no googling. No googling. The one from John Wick doesn't count either. It's big. <laughs> Aren't they all in New York? <laughs> yeah. Um, what we think, Gareth? Oh, about there. The plaza. <laughs> <laughs> Is Gareth going to I don't have any other... Yep. Go with Gareth. You so nailed that question, guys. You actually got it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. It's like the most generic huge hotel's name ever. <laughs> okay. <I'm just> <laughs> so let's go on to Sonia and Paula. Um, do, we not nominate, do we not nominate somebody? Oh, yeah, you do. At least you know the game is better than me. <laughs> Who would you like to face plant, gentlemen? I think well, Gareth, you, you, I think Gareth, you pick. You, you got that one. That was you. I think we're gonna have to go LB and Daniel. What again? <laughs> go, bring it on, bring it on. Doors, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Layer two. <laughs> My pillow is smaller, Daniel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. Sorry, that was, uh, that was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I chose the organic type. <laughs> oh no, I went with gluten free. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to Sonia and Paula. Um, who wrote and recorded the hit song and album Hotel California? Oh, the Eagles. Uh, oh, you're uh, right. Paula. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was so terrified because now I was not for joy. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Well, uh, Sonia, do you want to nominate? Should I? Or what are we going to do? Uh, I, I, what? I don't know. Oh, it's going to right? Isn't it? Yeah, your turn. You can nominate whoever you want to yeah. face plant. Everyone! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, I guess it's fair to, you know, Jamie and Gareth that didn't... Yeah, that's like a clean shirt. It's looking a bit clean, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. Right. Okay. All right, Gareth. One, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then we move on to on to um Chris and Trish. Um what was Gordon Ramsay's first TV show? Oh. 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 First TV show. Um, uh, hotels from hell. <laughs> 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 we plant peas. Uh, 
What was well, what was the answer? I know, I know. Uh, what, was it, it was, bosses from hell or something? It was boiling point. Um, and um, that was his first one. When I can't read. Hang on, two seconds, and I'll tell you when it was. We did say no googling, Amy. No, <laughs> Ooh. When he was young. Doesn't change that much. No, he just swears a lot more. Okay. Cycles more too. Uh, okay. Here we go. Where are we going? I'm gonna dunk my face. Dunk your face. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Did you not take your glasses off? Well done. Well done. Uh, uh, her hand. <laughs> okay. So is everybody ready for round two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Daniel and LV. What does Bring it on. what does A L O S stand for? Length of stay. A. What's the A average, for? Average, average length of stay. Yay! Okay, I Daniel. I think it's got to be Jamie and Gareth, isn't it? Just for payback. <laughs> <laughs> In true Christmas spirit. <laughs> Vengeance. <laughs> I'm with the ad sauce. Is this the yeah. sauce one? Lots. <laughs> Is that the chilli one, Jamie? Your eyes closed, mate. I'm not quite sure oh. that's enough, uh, to be honest. <laughs> Great. Right, Jamie, ready? Great. One, two, three. <laughs> I like the hesitation. Very glamorous. <laughs> Very, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Jamie and Gareth, over to you. What does ARG stand for? Sorry. <laughs> does it taste good? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> ARG, ARG. ARG. Argentina. No one asked you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I'm I don't know, Jimmy. Not sure we're going to guess this one either. No, no. <laughs> Give up. Don't wanna. <laughs> Average rate per guest is the correct answer. Yes, we're going again. Source it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you talked me into this. <laughs> oh, you know I love right. it. Thank you, Mirai. All right, you came this one down. <laughs> okay. Ten. No one's joking. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> I've always liked a layer cake. Just close your mouth, James. <laughs> he's, he's angry. What can we say? <laughs> okay. I'm a joker, Jamie. <laughs> I know. This is one of the Jamie beat me at that the other day. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this, this is payback for that, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so over to Sonia and Paula. Um, what does fit stand for? Fit. And it's not a bloke walking down the street, girl. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it means, but we can show you. <laughs> you go, Sonia, and I'm not even going to try that one. I mean, is it like F I T? Yeah. Fit. Okay. I don't know. Ooh, no I can't way. even do like anything to help you out here. Yeah. Is it? It is very easy, and I'm being, and I don't know. Uh, it's 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 not that easy, but you've got to get flour on your face, so. <laughs> it's very easy when you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it is. 
Yeah, pretty yeah, easy. I, I really don't know. I, I don't know either. No. Free and independent traveler. And we did a blog on this. <laughs> I, think you've, I think you've made these up, Amy. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> They just chose the hardest one so that they can be sure that we're dipping our heads every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do this then. All right. Are you going to go first? Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> I'm scared of this. That's great fun. You're going to love it. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> one, two, three. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like something out of Mad Max. <laughs> Valhalla. <laughs> the whole face. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna do like this. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Sonia, can you count three? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> That's the best one so far. Yeah, it's fun. yeah, really, really. Okay, on to Chris and Trish. Um, there are two companies that developed the NPS score together. Name one of them. Oh, oh it's on the tip of my tongue. The floor, oh. the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> two, two companies. Yeah, the one I swear ends with an ES, I think. Uh. <laughs> Let's get the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you give up quickly, Chris. <laughs> yes, um, no, I can't think. remember that. Cymatics. <laughs> So close, Trish. I know. It's there. Oi, no helping. <laughs> oh, that, that's my. Synetics. Synetics. <laughs> that matrix was one of them, and Bain and Company was the other. And it was oh, in, Bain and in 2003. Oh. Close. So close, Trish. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. oh, that's a lot. Oh, oh. oh no. Okay. You got Respect. Pillow. Just don't move that pillow. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. Okay. Okay. Three, two, two one. one, go. <laughs> Well done. Oh. Oh. oh, man. Okay, on to round three. LV oh, yeah. yeah. and Daniel. Ooh. Easy, easy one, easy one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is the largest hotel brand in the UK? Ooh. Trick question. UK. Are you talking main brand or are you talking all the brands, sub brands, et cetera, affiliate brands? I know, I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you need to be more specific than that. No, what is, what is, it's a big brand. Well, that's in the question. <laughs> we know that much. And does it start with M, H, no. C, no. A, B, C, D? Amy, look into my eyes. A, B, C, D, Daniel, are you Googling meantime? I'm just no, I'm distracting, not, I'm I'm distracting her. Jesus. You're buying time, LV. Um, it, mm. it must be something like, it's like sort of Premier Inn or something like that. It's going to be. Premier Inn? What, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have 75,000 rooms across the UK. Wow. wow. Massive, hey. He's next. Oh. I'll, let you, I'll let you nominate this time, LV. Um, who's got the least amount? Sonia and Paula. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Especially Paula. Yeah, Paula. You know, you need to do it properly. 
I'm in Rio and it's snowing because it's <laughs> the flower is the same. So I want to put some sauce here because it feels like it's snowing. Like again, you look like you just came back from Colombia. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, Sonia, are you ready? Uh, are we going with the sauce now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, now I'm, yeah. And what sauce is that? Sweet and sour. <laughs> Mine. Um, yeah, first. Is yours mustard? Let's do it. One, un, dois, tres. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Yeah. Okay, um, one, two, three. Oh, gosh. Oh, God, it's not working. Breathe in, breathe in. Go on, go for it. Oh, but. <laughs> That's a lot of sauce. Oh, God, yeah. Amy. Oh. Amy. Amy, <laughs> come and you want to be messy. My mom's going to kill me. You told me. I, I had to give a me to your face in it. Like, but I'm <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> The boy here, like, really. I oh, love God. your mum. Tell her I'd come round and have a <laughs> yeah, say hello to her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have Gareth and Jamie next up, right? Yep. I'm finding a question for you. Two seconds. Uh, an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> when was the oldest hotel? No. When was the oldest hotel still operating opened? That's worldwide. Hmm. Is that an easy one? <laughs> <laughs> like, are, do I have to get the year specific? That, that's, that's BC, before COVID, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Gareth, have you got any idea? Like, are we looking at the specific year, Amy? Century will be fine. Sorry? Century will be fine. Continent. <laughs> Century, okay. What do you think, Gareth? Six, 17th, 18th? Did that make it in the 18th? Go 18th? What do you think? think? 19th, 18th. Nah. 19th. No. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just keep running out the numbers. <laughs> just giving hints. <laughs> hints now. Okay. So the first hotel was opened in 705 AD. Wow. We're well oh. off. And, and still open. <laughs> and that's according to the Guinness Book of Records. Um, and it is pronounced. Nishi Mayo Sin Komcham or something. <laughs> that does not Sorry. sound anything like what it is. I'll put the actual name in the comments somewhere. <laughs> and where is it? Which country? It is, it, it's a traditional Japanese hot spring inn. In. Wow. Should go. Give me a visit it someday. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I feel like it's too nice. <laughs> yeah, if you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine most of the guest information is now in the cemetery by this point. Yeah, I would imagine so. Could you imagine having reviews going that back that long? Uh, <laughs> Does guests of you uh, sponsor this this long? <laughs> I think they should. Yeah, I think they should. We've, we've been a train since seven uh, since the seventh century. <laughs> you look that old, boss. NPS. <laughs> Right, Jimmy, ready? In other news, Amy is now looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Right. Oh. You cut this in, Jimmy? All right, okay. Three, two, one. Oh. Is that the fourth time now? <laughs> yes. Lost Look, count. <laughs> it now counts as a spot treatment with a body scrub. <laughs> <laughs> People will pay good money to go and have stuff. Put yeah. Them. Okay. Come on, I'm doing it all a favour. You want to look beautiful and your beards are going to be sparkly tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Anything but. I'm not going to third eye, bro. <laughs> I've got a third eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So let's do Sonia and Paula. What? I'm already ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go. What does the waiter has been stiffed mean? Oh, I mean, I don't know. It's not even English. My, my, I don't know. It's uh, it doesn't sound politically correct at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly been a chef. <laughs> uh, front of house, back of house, friction. <laughs> I, I would say it's uh, something to do with uh, no tips or no tips. Yay! Okay. okay, so who are you nominating? Oh, goodness. Um, wait, who hasn't done it in, in Sorcia? It looks Amy like hasn't done one yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're going. I just we we got plenty. Canada. Come on. <laughs> like that was bad enough. <laughs> yeah, Candice and Amy look very clean. <laughs> <laughs> That's Candice's I'm not speaking to you look. Last try. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you nominating to do it? Oh, sorry. You get to nominate just... someone, Sonia and Paula, because you got it right. Yeah, let's uh, not... Shall we go for Daniel um, and Elvi? Good show. Happy good to show. oblige. <laughs> yeah, good choice. <clears throat> Maple syrup or agave syrup? Both. Both. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Right, Daniel, ready when you are. Cheers to that. Yeah, the tubed yogurt. Oh. oh, yeah. Looking forward to some color. Three, two, one. <laughs> Is it snowing in here? It was in here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, so quite nice. On to the last <laughs> question, and the last question is for Chris and Trish. What hotel was used in the film Pretty Woman? Oh. I've never seen that movie. Oh. It, it, oh. Spoiler alert, it does not start in the hotel. <laughs> um, uh, I can't remember. It's... Uh, Seriously, snowing in here. Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> you look so super sexy, Elvi. <laughs> uh, the hmm. I don't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> it was the Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. That's right. That's right. Let's have some syrup, Trish. Yeah. Nice and sweet. <laughs> you go first. Okay, I'll go first. <sighs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Brilliant. Snowing okay. again. <laughs> okay, here I go. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a better pillow there, guys. You look like you came out of the Adam's <laughs> <family. Very> thin. <laughs> I can't get over how well LV looks in an elf costume. <laughs> Aww. I need the elf to go with my Santa. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Has anybody seen Home Alone? A little legs as well.
Hey, my smell the syrup. Ah. <laughs> I just want to... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let everybody go and wash their faces, pick up their kids, and get back to normal life. Um, I'm gonna scare yeah. my kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to say, you know, to everybody watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. I wish you, we all wish you a really Merry Christmas and a great New Year. And, you know, if you can donate, please do. And, you know. Donate the money. Donate please. the money. It's for a good cause. Please, everyone. Donate the money. Just and to everybody that's taken part, you know, you are absolutely fantastic. And I love you all. And that's it from us. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.